Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're doing another one of our top three shows and it's time to delve into the world of alpine climbing harnesses. This is not a sponsored video. We've used the experiences from the people in the team, looked at shop sales and talked to you guys to come up with our top three. Now the word alpine harness can actually cover quite a few things. Obviously, we're talking about getting up mountains, but for some people, they need a harness that can take loads of gear and be very adjustable. You know, you need cams, nuts, ice screws, gloves, extra jackets, all racked on your harness. But for other, alpine can mean ultra minimal, stripped back for ridge bashing, glacier travel, or maybe ski mountaineering. So the harnesses that we've picked for this list, they reflect those different options. Let's start with one that can take a lot of gear, the Petzl Aquila. The Aquila is in no way minimal. It's for people going on big alpine missions and they want maximum space for gear, comfort and adjustability. Weight and pack size is the compromise and the medium comes in at 405 grams. It has a wide, comfortable waist belt with smooth, seamed edges. And it's durable with abrasion-resistant outer fabric. It's got adjustable leg loops. So if you're wearing big trousers or perhaps want to put on an extra layer like a Gore-Tex shell, then you can make sure the fit is perfect. This is also great for putting on crampons or removing them to go to the toilet. It uses a fuse frame construction for improved freedom of movement when you're climbing. There are two semi-rigid front loops and a large rear loop for bulky gear. There are also two separate flexible rear loops and they're arranged in a clever overlapping pattern. There are attachment points for ice screws, although you need to buy the carrying tool separately. There is nothing subtle about the Aquila. You could just see from the design of it how much gear it's meant to take up a mountain or a trad route. And of course, this would make a great trad harness because of those carrying features. Now, of course, that's not gonna suit everyone, but I think for a certain type of alpine climber, that adjustability down by the leg loops is going to make a big difference, especially if you're crossing between summer and winter. And I reckon this would make a good Scottish winter climbing harness as well, if you're into that kind of thing. Right now, we're selling it for 99 euros on the Epic TV shop. Okay, so from one extreme to another, our next harness is the Blue Ice Adax. Blue Ice has its offices in Chamonix, so it's the perfect place for designing an alpine harness. Blue Ice say the Adax is the lightest, padded harness in the world. It's just 139 grams for the small version. It has EVA foam in the waist and thigh sections. And although you don't want to be hanging around for a long time on a big wall, it will provide comfort and breathability. It's fully specced in the gear loop department as well, with four gear loops that are large enough for a decent size rack. It also has two ice screw loop points. The tie-in points are reinforced with UHMW polythene, which is basically the same stuff as Dyneema. So nice and tough, and that's important because any alpine harness will be scraped around and abused. The Adax tries to do everything and it does it pretty well. That weight is insane for something with this many features and the padding is really comfortable. So if you're doing a long rock route or sections of rock routes, perhaps this is a good choice. I wouldn't use it for every type of climbing. So it's definitely one to pick for mountaineering or ski mountaineering. The Adax RRPs at 130 euros, but we have good deals at the moment on the Epic TV shop, 91 euros. So I'm not sure how long that's gonna be around. Make sure you check it out. Okay, our last harness on this list is the Etherid Prisma Guide. The Prisma Guide weighs in at just 140 grams for the medium version, but it's a more stripped back design from the Adax. 
It has a frame construction with high strength Dyneema straps throughout it. This helps to evenly distribute weight, although it won't be that comfortable if you're hanging around in it for a long time. The leg loops have a very minimal adjustment loop. So not much bulk, but some flexibility to easily open it up for large trousers or to put on crampons. It has lots of space for gear, with four main loops and two small ones near the back. The front ones are semi-rigid and sheathed, while the back ones are soft. It's a good compromise from taking up lots of gear while still keeping the weight down and the movement easy. There are also attachment loops for ice screws. I'm really impressed with the Edelrid Prisma Guide for certain types of climbing. Those gear loops, although there are six of them, they are pretty small, so you're not gonna be racking lots and cams and nuts on them, but they'll definitely do the job for most routes. Now, the reason that the weight is pretty similar to that Adax, but the Blue Eyes claim that that's the lightest, is because it's not as padded as the other one. It's really minimal. And again, it's one of those ones that if you fall off, sure, the weight distribution will be good through the harness. It won't be painful, but you don't want to be just hanging around in this thing. It's not that comfortable. I'm really impressed they've managed to put in the adjustment on the leg loops. Having that ability to take them off or adjust it for bigger trousers can be really important, especially if you want this harness to be used for winter mountaineering or skiing and then become your summer alpine harness as well. It's an impressive feature and well thought through from Edelrid. So that's our top three, two minimal lightweight ones and the Aquila being slightly different because of all the gear it can take. Of course, there are other harnesses out there, so do let us know your favorites in the comments down below. And if you want to pick any of these three up, there are links in the description to the Epic TV shop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.